my lovelies. So I am not feeling so great today. What else is new? We have my puppy here with me. And um, so I haven't been feeling well and I've been sleeping really weird hours. So it's kind of like a lot of darkness. So I've been watching a lot of shows. I caught up on Pretty Little Liars and I caught up on Revenge. So I thought I would share my thoughts without spoilers. I'm going to try my best without spoilers. Um, talk about kind of my obsessions. They're more like OCD things. But like for instance, Victoria on Revenge, the mom, Grayson, the Mrs. Grayson, she has had so much freaking Botox, she doesn't have any expressions. And it's like, if I understand like the ice queen part of her, like that's fine to have like no expression whatsoever on your face, but like she plays a lot, like she cries and like mourns and gets really angry and like there's nothing going on like nothing like I understand there's like a lot of actresses that get Botox and they get like here like here her entire forehead is just like frozen like literally they had to put like a prosthetic on her forehead to show like a gash and you they probably couldn't do it like you I could see like where the prosthetic end because like natural people like you can manipulate their skin a little bit and like it moves it just doesn't like sit there oh it drives me freaking nuts and they put her in the tiniest dresses and I understand like it's her style but after a while it's like how many tiny like bandage dresses is, can she wear and she like always like she's tiny like she has no fat on her entire body but for some reason, she like always like, it looks like she's like bloated, like her stomach. It's really bizarre. Like I'm always just like, she need to wear like some Spanx or something? Like why does she have like a little belly? It's so weird. Like she's the skinniest little thing. And um, it's just, I just, I just feel like they should dress her better and like make her look better. And then, <laughs> I am not done because she makes me so angry. Um, and it's weird because like the Mr. Grayson who you like is supposed to be like kind of the bad guy, like you're supposed to kind of like hate him. He just like to me has such an endearing face. Like I, I understand like he kind of has a scowl a little bit that like gets him but like I don't know he just looks like a dad and I'm always just like oh face is so nice no I'm not talking to you belly she was talking about her but um it's hard to like hate her like I just hate Victoria so much and like you should think I think that we should kind of like her like I don't think we should like hate both characters because like it, I feel like really like jerky when anything like bad or mean happens to her I'm like good that I shouldn't say that like when horrible things happen to another person they just like don't have any like redeeming qualities in her so it kind of sucks um I I almost didn't catch up on revenge because a part of it I was just like mm -mm, I'm not on board with this because like I like her initial like clearing her dad's name and like her crusade to have revenge or whatever but it turned into something that was just like really petty and stupid and I was just like this is just annoying I don't like Emily Thorne anymore like ugh. I still don't really like her like I used to really really like her like when her I like my thing is, is like I want her and Jack to be together like that would make me happy like I feel like she'd be a better person I feel like he would like keep her in perspective with things like not to go too far and like Aiden was hot to start out with and I kind of wanted her him and Emily to be together but then like his looks went downhill I don't know if it was like maybe his accent just got old and I just started looking at his face but or just like Jack seems to be getting hotter and hotter I don't know but I like both of them I like that Charlotte's look 
changes a lot. I think that's really cool. Something should like that should happen with Victoria because they do not trust her well. Um, Emily's style has kind of gone downhill. She seems kind of like plain to me now. I wish she would wear something cool. She did wear like, she did go to like an event and she wore this red dress and she looked amazing. But other than that, she kind of is just like, like pale face, like no makeup. I mean, not that I'm saying like I want her to wear makeup. It's just like give her a little life, like a little blush or something. Um, so, I mean, there's not really like much to talk about because revenge is like, I think there's like, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of Pretty Little Liars, but there's a lot of seasons and ooh, the latest reveal I feel like should have been in the finale first off and because it was like one of those like huge things. And I just don't feel like they did a very good job of it. And I don't know if I'm going to still watch it because what was revealed, like in the finale, I'm just like, hmm, that's not who I thought they were. And I'm not down with that. That's kind of crappy. Like, I was rooting for you, but now I'm kind of not. Um... And then Pretty Little Liars is, that's like a much more fun show for me to watch because it's like not as deep. And, um, and that's just like pretty much the same, like all the seasons, all the episodes. So, but, so in some one sense it's like kind of cool because they're not like majorly flipping things on you. But in another sense it's like, can something please happen? Like who is A? Tell me. But, um, yeah, I don't really know where the show's going right now, but it's interesting. I feel like they drug out something as long as they could, and I'm glad that they finally are, like, going in a new direction. It's just like, oh, thank goodness. Like, this was, I was, like, literally, like, trying to guess how they were going to drag this out any longer. Um... There's one character that I think is forgiven way too easily. And, um, they also have been touching on, like, issues that are major. And they're not really showing them appropriately. Like, I feel like if I was, like, a teen watching that show, like, I'd be like, oh, drinking's not that bad. Oh, an eating disorder's not that bad. Because they're just, like, have one beer and, like, that's hannah's being out of control with her drinking it's like i understand she's like underage drinking but like and then she like just quits and it's like that was easy so you can just be an alcoholic and just quit like that's not how it works so um and then like spencer with her like drug habit and it's like oh my gosh it just gets a bit I don't understand why they just don't drag it on a little bit more. Like, why does it have to be, like, one episode or, like, two episodes that, like, Hannah has a drinking a problem? It's like, have it go over, like, a couple weeks. Like, more than two episodes. And then have her, like, get her act together. I guess, like, the only thing with Spencer that they did really show was, like... I'm so tired. I'm gonna go take a nap now. I don't even really nap, so this is really weird. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll just put the cute puppy up here. Distract you from me not having much to say. It's hard to talk about him without giving spoilers of like big things. So, those are my thoughts. I, I was really annoyed with revenge. Like I really wanted to like rip Victoria's face off. Like it really bothers me. Like, I don't understand how it doesn't bother someone else. You know what I don't like? This is what I don't like, is that women don't age now. Like, I think it is creepy how a woman of her age does not have a wrinkle on her forehead. Like, 
I think it's creepy if someone my age doesn't have a wrinkle on their forehead. Like, it looks creepy. They look women. They're that old. This is, like, just my opinion. But, and I know that they can do Botox, like, so that you can still have expression. You can still have frown lines and, like, things like that. You can still, like, look surprised and shocked and happy and sad. But, like, when it's taken to that extent, it looks creepy, like, human beings should not look like that like it's okay to have wrinkles on your face like that's normal like I just don't like it and we don't we're not down with that Bella and I are not down with that at all we go we're not down with that we are down with naps so that's what we're gonna do right I'm watching the pact too it is very gruesome very disgusting so far because the girl is like um and this is like real life so that's the only way I can watch these type of things but because people actually have to do this like somebody has to do this but she's like um after there's a crime scene she goes and cleans it up so that's like her job so it's like very yucky so far I mean some people that's their job so good for them but that's not for me so, all right, I hope you guys have a pain-free, stress-free day, and we're sending out X double O's. Bella's like, oh, yay, mom, you're finishing your video. I know those words. Um, and as always, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Yep, we're done, Bella. <laughs> yep, we're done. <laughs>